Unreal Engine 5.2 continues to build on UE5's groundbreaking toolset with some innovative new technology, plus loads of feature refinements and stability improvements. First up, Unreal Engine 5.2 offers an early look at a new procedural content generation framework that makes creating large worlds fast and efficient. You can use the in-editor PCG tools to define rules and parameters to populate large scenes with UE assets of your choice. There's also a runtime component that means the world can react to gameplay or geometry changes. Substrate is a new way of authoring materials that gives you more control over the look and feel of objects. Its modular multi-lobe framework provides a greater range of surface appearances with a wider parameter space to work from. It's particularly great at creating layered looks, such as dirt on clear coat paint or something more complex like this opal material. Both PCG and Substrate are still in development. We look forward to getting your feedback. Virtual production workflows continue to evolve in UE 5.2 with new shot creation and scene creation tools. Coming soon, a new iOS app for stage operations will let filmmakers modify lighting from light cards on an LED volume and color grade the real-time scene right on set. In pre-production, they can shoot with multiple VCams simultaneously and create sophisticated layered camera moves to better visualize shots for production. We've added native support for Apple Silicon to the Unreal Editor. This makes for a better user experience, improved performance, and greater stability. The universal binary of Unreal Engine that natively supports both Apple Silicon and Intel CPUs is now available to download from the Epic Games launcher. With the machine learning deformer sample, you can explore how to create a high fidelity, real-time character with deformations driven by full muscle, flesh, and claw simulations. The download includes the complete setup with a control rig asset ready to animate and all the source assets for you to repurpose and modify for use in your projects. These are just some of the highlights of what's new in Unreal Engine 5.2. You can find out more on our What's New page, where you'll also find a link to download the release if you're a new user. Otherwise, it's available right from your Epic Games launcher. Enjoy!